Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. It is NSW Raw Season 2. Welcome. My name is beautiful Steve Easton. I am alongside, as always, Matt Rhodes. An unwell Matt Rhodes. Matt, good evening. Good evening, Dave. It's going to be a great night here in NSW. And great how for are, Season 2 to start. And how are you coping? Alright, ready to go. I'm ready for the night of action that we have set forth. Uh, can't wait for Season 2 to get started. Guess what, Matt? We are going to be told who our new GM of Raw is. It's coming up now. Oh, here's Vince in Kamek Mundo. Who is he going to? Who is he? Who has he got for season two? Let's. We're going to find out very soon. Boom has gone round all day, Matt. Let's find I'm out. Bad, and I'm than ever, oh, no way. Not that, him. What in the hell? He's banned from this place. What? Is, what? What is Vince thinking of bringing this guy back? And I thought oh. we got—I thought we got fined if we told him. Yeah, I guess there's been a, some legal battles going on while we were away. Um, I'm a little confused of why we are, uh, of how he here. Are we allowed to see his name? I will have to wait and see what he says when he gets to the ring, maybe. The ban has been lifted finally. Well, when was the last time we even seen this guy? It was Superstars, I guess? Yeah, like a couple weeks before WrestleMania or so. Um, well, I'm, conf I'm confused. Let's see what he has to say. Well, Jen Michael, am I allowed to say that? Am I allowed to say that? I guess it's right there on screen. I mean, it's obvious that he's back and he is now our manager. Jen Michaels. Uh, well, well, at least we know who the GM is. Well, that's season two off to a stunning start already. Yeah, maybe he'll do a better job than John Laurinaitis did in season one. We'll have to see how Jay Michaels can do. But why bring him back? Why bring this guy back? It's like they say, controversy creates cash. And he's saying next week we're gonna, he's going to do some never done in NSW. Well, I'm confused, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be interesting oh, to see what he can come up with. Look at that, Matt. No more fines. Well, we're allowed to see his name again. Oh, that's good. Well, if you know he'd be a good start then if we're allowed to see his name. Uh, but we're going to start off with a newcomer to the Raw roster, Carlos. He's going to take on one half of the chick magnets, Tyler Breeze. Man, what a way to start season two! Yeah, get to see uh, Tyler Breeze get it, make his return, and we got to see a up, new up and comer. Yeah, indeed. from Indiana, uh, Carlos. We were told a bit about him uh, if you watched some of our one night only tournaments. Uh, really, was signed from the independent circuit, Matt. Um, and well, look at this, making the grand entrance for starting the season two. Yeah, I heard he was doing really good in a place called the CWF. So it's good to see that we're actually finding new talent all over the place. Indeed. Remember, guys, if you want to catch up any of the rosters, remember, go to our weekly Peter page. If you're watching on Twitch, the links are below the stream. Um, I'm just still stunned, Matt, about Chen Michaels. Yeah, it's a shocking, very shocking revelation that... Vincent K. McMundo had to bring him back after all the trouble he caused last year. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. What a start this is do. And we are ready for some singles action to kick us off. And well, Carlos getting a bit of a mixed reception here, Matt. And yeah, it seems the fans really don't know what to make of this guy yet, so we'll have to see what he can do in the ring and maybe they can make a decision by the end. Well, he's going to be up against one of the people from season one, obviously, Tyler Breeze. And well, we know what Tyler brings to the table. Him and Sean Bethwick are from the Chick Magnus. Sean Bethwick is going to be in a match a little bit later on. But surprisingly, they're not, he's no help for Tyler. He's coming out alone. Yeah, I think Tyler might want to just take this on by himself and kind of show that he can go out one on one and not have to rely on a tag team partner. Well, maybe singles push could be in the offering if he gets a big win. Maybe he has to make a statement here. But let's. 
we're going to find out if he can really go with the, the newcomer Carlos here. This It'd is be interesting to see if he's got any kind of background on Carlos, if anyone's caught up in any of his previous matches, and maybe he can find a weakness and get a win on him. We did see Carlos uh, briefly in the hardcore tournament, Matt. Uh, he did put up a quite a good show in, in some of that, too. Really, Tyler, he kind of underestimated him here. It should be, could be quite a big opening contest for both these men. Very much so. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Your first match of Raw Season 2. Carlos versus Tyler Breeze. Carlos done with a nice dropkick. Gotta say, Matt, Carlos, for a big man, from what we've seen in the hardcore tournament, has got a lot of agility. Yeah, he's got, he's got quite an agility built up and... Uh... He's definitely going right after Tyler Breeze in this one. Tyler's got to be careful. He's got to use his quickness here to try and counteract the speed and the strength of Carlos. And, well, as you see, the fans, as you've seen before, Matt, a bit of a mixed reaction at the moment. Still don't know what to make of this Carlos. Yeah, well, it's usually what happens when a newcomer comes in. People kind of have to wait and kind of get a feel of who he is to kind of judge whether they're going to like him or root against him. And also, what about... Chan Michaels, Matt. Honestly, I know it's going to be this is going to be a thing at, at tonight, but Chan Michaels back in NSW. As you go, oh, look at that trending right now. Chan Michaels on Twitter. It didn't take long for the the NSW universe to get out there. Nah, it seems everybody has been kind of wondering what has been going on with him, and maybe they heard some about the legal battles that he was going through with NSW. Well, <laughs> What a, what a way to kick off. I am still stunned. Look at nice drop kick though from Tyler Breeze. And Tyler Breeze trying to take it to the new come Carlos, but a nice rake of the ice gets Carlos back in the action. We're talking about, before you were talking about uh, Carlos um, on the independent circuit. Uh, really, coming straight on the road, if, you, if a person like this comes on the road, he's got to really st start from the, really the beginning and hit the, um, the blocks running, if they would say. Yeah, I mean, he built up a good following throughout the uh, independent circuit, and once he got into, he got able to be get signed here, hopefully he can get up his victory, which he just did. <laughs> he did, and a choke slam gets the win, and there you go, big win for Carlos. Picks up a win. You've got to say, no easy feat against Tyler Breeze. Carlos pick, uh, uh, picking up the win, and as you say, start of big things to come, maybe, from Carlos in Season 2. Yeah, it's definitely a win. Plus, Carlos. There you go. A big win for Carlos. He is your winner, ladies and gentlemen, in the opening contest of season two. Maybe it's the, the time for the newcomers to step up and take action. But as I see, more to come from surely from Carlos in season two. <laughs> He's taking no uh, rubbish from anyone there, Matt. Uh, certainly telling off the ref. It's not going to make any fr friends around here doing that. Well, let's see as we move on up. And oh, look, at, we know about these fellas, Matt, from season one. United States champion Bray Wyatt. And later on, Wyatt, Bray Wyatt, of course, will be teaming up with Eric Rowan. Uh, he's gonna, they're going to be taking on Daniel Cage and Christian a little bit later on. Yeah, that rivalry was really started to get going toward the end of season one. It seems it's kind of spilled over here into season two. And maybe we can kind of get an end to this rivalry that's been going on now. As you can see, they're saying that uh, could be the end for Christian and Daniel Cage tonight. Because uh, Luke Harper is going to be in a, a match a little bit later on. We're going to keep a little bit of a surprise for you guys of what's coming up. Uh, but let's see uh, what's going to happen a little bit. Uh, what's coming up next. But Bray Wyatt there, Matt, saying that it could be the end. And tag team title is going to join the family. Yeah, could you imagine if he had the US title and then Eric and... Uh Rowan could have the uh, tag team champions if you kind of a cornerstone for NSW on Raw, so. Indeed, coming up next, it is Chris Hero versus Yuri Watson. This should be a very interesting singles matchup. Again, a, a, a new beginning Matt, for Chris. Yeah, kind of breaking away from the tag team after Antonio Cesaro's big win at WrestleMania. It looks like he's trying to go out on his own and see if he can build up his own singles career. Yeah, and indeed. Change of name, maybe a change of attitude from Chris Hero this season. 
we will have to find out. But not an easy um, start for him against Yubi. Watch him. Both men, remember, as in season one. Yeah, they both uh, were able to get a good career build up in season one, and now they're trying to start a push to a title shot, shot in season two. See if you can get the victory. Uh, maybe Chris here will maybe thinking of trying to get a shot against his former tag team partner. And remember, he was champion at one time with Antonio. Yeah, they're a very formidable tag team, but uh, we'll see how he can do as a singles wrestler. And here indeed is Yubi watching. Remember, guys, if you're watching this on the NSW app, good evening. Thank you very much for coming in tonight. Remember, keep your comments coming in. We will, if they're clean, of course, get them on air through the night as Raw continues on. Bit of a different format for Season 2, you may have already noticed. Hope you enjoy it along the way. Um, Matt, what, as you see, what about this guy? As you see, we see what happened at the end of Season 1. He got taken out uh, by, the, by our former tag champs, who we're not going to name. But he's back and maybe ready to go for a, a title push in Season 2. Yeah, season one didn't end really good for either uh, Yuri Watson or uh, Giant Limbo, so hopefully they can kind of turn around for season two and possibly look at maybe becoming tag team champions or even individual champions themselves. And, the, and Giant Limbo will be in a special match that is coming up very shortly um, tonight on Raw, which we will, as I say, we're going to keep it a little bit of a surprise um, coming up in a couple of matches' time. Um, so wait out for that one but here we go singles action for match two it is chris hero versus yuri watson the professor yuri watson not many people know this man but yuri actually comes from london england yeah i heard he spent a lot of time over there honing his uh, intellect over there yeah and indeed he has been a, a lot of people also saying that the time he spent off in season two um many people were saying looking for new people to replace Giant Limbo booth, but that is not the case. Now I remember seeing Giant Limbo in the, uh, I think it was the Hardcore Tournament, and he showed a lot of new ability that I hadn't seen in Season 1, so maybe him and Yuri have been training well with together, and he's learning a lot from Yuri. Well, look at this. And here we go. Oh, nice spin elbow off the top. As you see, both men really not ending Season 1 on the best note, so really Season 2, fresh start. This is desperate. We need a big win here for either man here, and it's good jump start towards a title push, a uh, United States title or maybe world title, as, as you say, with Chris and Antonio with the history they've had. Yeah, it could make for a very good, interesting matchup seeing two former tag team partners go against each other to fight for the world title. Nice move by Chris taking uh, Yuri down with the electric chair, now working over the legs. You've got to see. You've got to see, Chris Hero is a very good technical wrestler. Knows how to dissect his opponents with a lot of moves. Yeah, he's definitely been taking it to Yuri Watson tonight. He hasn't let Yuri get out of the block so all night. Every time Yuri's gotten an opportunity to go for a move, he's able to counter it and reverse it and go for another move maneuver. And look at this giant limbo already paying dividends for Yuri Watson. Referee having his back turned and really not really helping Yuri. Is it Yuri was at the ropes and. He's tapping and the referee doesn't see it, so again, Limbo into play, but into the cover. This could end it anyway to a count. Mm -hmm. And you've got to see Limbo helping, then, well, not helping, then helping. <laughs> that might be it right there. That might be the knockout punch. Yeah, and you watching, looks out of it with a nice forearm shot. Nothing Giant Limbo can do this time. Chris Hero picks up the win. Big, big win for Chris at the start of season two. Yeah, I don't know if Yuri's gonna be happy about that loss and Giant Limbo not helping him out, so I see some friction between these two coming. Well, you've got to remember, what is it gonna be for Giant Limbo? I'm sure he's gonna to have to make some stuff up for you, Yuri Watson later on, but a big win, as you see, some of the highlights from awesome. the match. And you've got to see, Matt, Chris Hero off to a brilliant start for season two. Yep, 0-1 so far for season one, or season two. We'll see if he can get uh, his chance at a title shot soon. Well, remember guys, if you're in the NSWR, keep it coming in. Keep the, your comments coming in. Keep your predictions coming in as well. We will indeed try and get to most of them as we can go through uh, the night. But a big win as for Chris Hero. Hero. 
And who is this? We have an arrival, Matt. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people are showing up tonight. Oh, there he is. We haven't seen... Oh, it's our World Heavyweight Champion. It's Antonio Cesaro. And we're backstage. Oh, Carlos backstage here, Matt. Uh, impressive. Getting a little insight into Carlos. Well, Michael Cole asking him what his plans are going to be for Season 2. And have you seen the superstars? I'm sure, Carlos, if he would have done some of a background check, surely, before we uh, got going here. Yeah, hopefully, uh, Antonio Cesar and him don't have a little run in. Yeah, and hope, yeah, exactly. That's what we do want. That remember, Cesaro, Daniel Bryan is your main event this evening. Carlos saying that he spoke into Jen Michaels already, and he says that he he told him he will show him why he is here, and and here on Raw and everyone on Raw, and the roster is on notice. Well, there you go. After watching him tonight, Mike, you've got to say them words. Um, he's got the skills to back it up. Yeah, put down the challenges. Nice way to get notice. Well, there you go. Let's move on. As Oh, you watching. Not happy with that thing. Oh, but here is Jen Michaels. We've seen... Oh, well, look at this, man. A bit of a partnership between these two here. Mm, maybe Jen Michaels saw that Yuri Watson possibly be the face of Raw soon. Well, I'm sure he didn't just watch the last match, but uh, you never know with Jam with the GM on his side. Oh, look at this! <laughs> what are uh, these? What are some these? kind of partnership going on. Well, coming up next, it is tag team action. It is Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowan. They're going to take on Christian and Daniel Cage, and I'm sure Daniel Cage, man, out to, for revenge against the Wyatts. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how this match is going to turn out. I mean, there's a lot of bad blood between both the Wyatt family and Daniel Cage and Christian, so this is liable to be a long-standing feud between these guys. Yeah, remember, Bray Wyatt took the United States title back off Daniel Cage on at WrestleMania, our last show on Season 1. And it's a little bit boiled, it's boiled over, really, between them. We've heard backstage... Um, Rumours that Daniel Cage is looking just to take out the Wyatt family once and for all. And really, Christian was brought into this towards the end of Season 1, Matt. So what a way to start Season 2, I guess. Yeah, continuing this rivalry is definitely a good way to draw in a lot of business tonight. And again, thank you very much for watching us, guys. If you're on Twitch tonight, thank you very much for coming along and watching the start of Season 2. So much to come from NSW. Four shows a week. And I'm sure this guy, Matt, Christian, looking to really have a much better season two than he did season one. Yeah, well, we'll see how they can kind of, if they can get away from what the uh, wide family's been doing, been doing. Maybe they can get their careers back on track and head for a championship possible title ring. Well, we've seen so much go through. We remember a lot of house shows happening through um, the off season and a lot of um, action. All these competitors will be up and running and I'm sure Christian is just chomping at the bit just to get his hands on the White family along with Daniel Cage here. Yeah, there's a lot of bad blood. These, these guys really want to tear each other apart and hopefully the referee can keep control of them. Well, Christian has a plenty of his peeps in here tonight at the Raw Arena. And I'm sure they're going to be backing him all the way with his feud against the wife family but this guy Daniel Cage many rumors going round Matt wasn't going to be signed for uh, signed for even for season two came to a deal uh, mostly he actually said he would have signed for anything just to get his hands on Bray Wyatt yeah I think that was one of the selling points is he didn't want to leave because he still had issues with Bray Wyatt and then he felt were unresolved well we will find out what happens here can Daniel Cage get season? Well, remember, what? Remember, if you remember back to the very beginning of season one, Daniel Cage actually beat the Miz for the championship in our first ever pay-per-view, and now he wants to. Hopefully, I'm sure he'll want to get season two after just a good start and try and recapture that United States title. Yeah, just any kind of way to get your foot in the door to step up to possibly get into the championship, becoming world champion here in NSW is what all of the NSW stars looking to do. 
Yeah, and Bree White just taking a little bit of a, a mocking of Christian running the ropes and then a nice snap suplex. Taking Christian off his feet, but Christian, the, the veteran, uh, thought it would have wouldn't done button better there, but outsmarted again by a Bray Wyatt. But look at this. Wyatt is showing his strength early on. And well, this could be over very quickly. Look like Christian took a very big bump there, Matt. Cage coming in though, stopping that early on. Yeah, it seems the Y family are kind of taking it right to Christian, trying to keep him ground. And, and what's this about the Y family? Matt saying earlier on tonight, they're going to end Christian and Daniel Cage. Very, very harsh words, you would have to say. Yeah, if I was those two, I'd definitely try and either stay together or at least keep one, one eye behind me or watch my back to make sure no sneak attacks will happen. And definitely Luke Hartman not out here as well, you may notice. He's getting ready for a, a little bit of a special match coming up next. Again, we're going to just keep a little bit, just, we're going to keep his on uh, tender hooks and just make sure you uh, stick around for that one. Very good match coming up um, for uh, the tag team division coming up next. Uh, but this so far, it really, you've got to see it's been most of the wide family in control. Yeah, the wide family seem to kind of have a good strategy in their teamwork and they're able to cut the ring off and kind of occupy one guy in the corner and keep him grounded. And Eric Rowan looked to have bumped the ref there by mistake. <laughs> really, this is just going to play into the White family's hands. I think, yeah, the referee, oh, good to see that. I thought the referee took a nasty bump there. And look at this. <laughs> the White family really just pounding away here on Daniel Cage. Yeah, they're keeping him uh, on their side of the ring and keeping him isolated and working him down. Should be looking to maybe hit him with a good finisher and end up capping this match off. And you, I don't know if you can hear the crowd, uh, man, but uh, the big chant going around. I don't know if, if you could catch it there, but uh, a bit a big chant going around for Luke Harper. I don't quite understand why, but uh, this one could be over with the, with the choke slam, and it is. And there you have it, Matt. The White family pick up a shocking win. Yeah, they just, they came out here with a mission and statement and then just put away Daniel Cage really fast. Yeah, well, there you go. You would never have expected that to have been over that quickly. But Eric Rowan showing the power, really. And uh, Daniel Cage not really um, having any answer. Yeah, he just seemed kind of occupied with something else tonight. I don't know. They just had him off his game or what was going on. Well... There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Wyatt continue their winning ways with Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowan picking up the win. And you've got to say, Matt, you've got to be careful of the Wyatts. They could be looking to dominate Raw for season two. Yeah, uh, be careful of what we wish for. And hopefully that they don't get the power that they're looking to get. Yeah, this could be a very bad sign for Raw if the Wyatts keep up their winning uh, run. Uh, big win for Rowan and White. Now, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, this is it, the six-man ladder match. The winner of this match will get a future tag team title shot. You can see in the match, uh, we'll go to the competitors. Uh, first coming out, Sean Bethwick of the Chick Mag Magnets. And we've already seen Tyler Breeze in action, man. So really, it's time for Sean, uh, Sean to really uh, kickstart the Chick Magnets run here in Season 2. Yeah, hopefully Sean Bether can step up and be able to win this match and get him and Tyler Breeze a future title shot. Yeah, it is indeed. It is a future shot down the road. Many people are saying that it could be at the, the next pay-per-view, but you never know. It's, if you get the case, you're allowed to cash it in any time you like. It's a bit like Money in the Bank, but it is for tag teams. A bit of a different one here, Matt. So it just makes it a little bit more interesting. Yeah, it seems like we got one person from each tag team vying for the shot to get their tag team into a title shot. So it'll be interesting to see what team is going to come out the winner and what possible team will be number one contender. And, well, here is a new tag team signed for the Raw division. It is one half of the primetime players in Darren Young. Yeah, new coming tag team here into NSW. We'll see how the primetime players will work out and if they can come in right now and accelerate to the championship matchup well look at this 
the Darren Young, as you see, along with his tag team partner Titus O'Neill, will be our, our team here on vote. And just to let everyone know, tag team partners banned from ringside. If any tag team partner comes out interferes, that team is automatically disqualified. So what about that, Matt? That, that's a bit of a, a level playing field. And here comes someone who really needs to make it up to uh, Yuri Watson, and that is Giant Limbo. Yeah, it'd be a good opportunity for Giant Limbo to show that he's all for the tag team of him and Yuri to get their chance at winning the gold tonight, or in, at a future time. Yeah, I mean, well, could you imagine if, if, you, if Giant Limbo was able to do that and uh, get the, the briefcase, I'm sure he'd be straight back in Yuri Watson's good books, and even Jen Michael's good books, because we've seen what happened with them earlier on. Yeah, maybe Yuri's working another angle for himself, so we'll never know. And talking about the why, it's just before, here is Luke Harper. And well, we've just seen the why pick up the win. Uh, so could we be seeing the why to get the future tag team title shot? Let's find out. Yeah, he's definitely a wild card in this match. Uh, I don't know. He's kind of hard to kind of gear for. I mean, he's kind of a big guy and kind of fast, so you never know where he's going to be coming from, and he's very unorthodox in his style. Well, we will find out. Definitely the power of Luke Harbaugh will be show on this match. It could be very, very interesting to see how he could fares in a ladder match, especially when the ladder's come into play. And, well, talking about your guys, Matt, right back, Tag team, of course, Ryback and Chris Jericho um, for the Paul Heyman guys. Um, what do you think about this guy's chances? It's a very good chance that Ryback could come out the winner. I mean, he's had a lot of high-profile matches in Season 1, and he's definitely not accustomed to being under pressure and could very, very well come out the winner in this one. And, well, he seems absolutely focused here tonight. Ryback looking to get that title tag team title shot and bring some gold back to the Hemingham and Matt, I've been told, rumours going round I don't know if you might want to tell us now or wait till Smackdown, apparently you and him are not getting along in the off season eh, not that we're not getting along, it's just uh, kind of, he's got his own stuff he's dealing with, with uh, Jericho and Ryback and Connor Rhodes that uh, kind of asked him to just step aside and maybe I can find myself someone that can actually focus purely on me and help rise my star to the top. Well, I'm, well, here's a little bit of a strange one. Mark, Mark Russ, I don't actually know who his tag team partner would be. I, I do know, I can tell you though, he is going to team up with Chris Hero uh, this uh, Wednesday and main event when he takes on the Ascension from SmackDown. Could we be seeing uh, Chris Hero's new tag team partner here? Possibly. Maybe they've kind of built up a little relationship over the layoff, and we'll see how they can maybe work as a tag team. Well, here we go. Look at this. We are underway, and you can see a bit crowded in the ring, so bear with us as the action goes down. We'll try and keep on top of it as much as we can. Um, the, the briefcase hanging above the ring. Winner of this match gets his future tag team title shot for his team. Limbo picking it up already, and that's a bit of a dangerous man to have. Um, the ladder in possession. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Mark, spear. Yeah, Mark Russ having none of that. Uh, that is crazy stuff. And Sean Bethwick, Matt, we've got to remember, remind everyone, Sean Bethwick was the first ever NSW champion. How did he win it? Ladder match. Yeah, this could be his favorite match or potential like match that he could come out the winner in. Yeah, and the Chick Mags definitely need a bit of a boost as uh, Giant Limbo taking off the ladder. Mark Russ and Giant Limbo having a bit of a thing already. Oh, nice! A spine buster onto the ladder. Mark Russ taking it, really taking it to Giant Limbo early on here. Yeah, these two brawlers really are going at it. They look like they're gearing more to a hardcore division than a tag team division in this match. Yeah, look at this. Darren Young having Luke Harper right in front of us here. What is he planning here? As uh, Sean Bassett right back on. Uh, Darren Young right in front of us here. I don't know what he's going to do here. Oh, DDT! Oh, my goodness, mate. Are you all right? Yep. 
make sure you stay back and let these guys do what they need to do. And look at this. Uh, Mark Russ got the case. Mark Russ has got the case. Limbo getting a bit of revenge, taking the ladder away from him. Oh, and a nice power bomb taking Mark Russ down. Unbelievable action early on here. Yeah, this is getting chaotic. He's getting all that out of control. And this is quite crazy stuff so far. As Sean Bethwick looks to be taking advantage here, the distraction of right back up. Oh dear! Don't know what's going to happen there. He sort of hit the ladder, and now we have Giant Limbo back in with the ladder. Setting up in the corner. Yeah, look at this. Luke Harper concentrating on Darren Young. Giant Limbo's realised he's the only person in the ring. That and, and, well, sorry, Luke Harper and Darren Young are not even paying attention. Mark yeah. Russ is trying to get to him. And, oh, and it's actually Luke Harper well, who managed to stop him. him down. Maybe Yuri Watson had really smartened him up and told him what he needed to do. Make sure to look for those opportunities. And look at this, Sean Patrick trying to steal one here. Nobody really around him. He's got to try. Yeah, he just snuck right in there. Yeah, he needs to pull this down. And look at this. Oh, oh my goodness. A backdrop. Now he hit Darren Young, who's right behind him. Carnage in the ring here. Giant Limbo yeah, looks absolutely out of it. Luke Harper with a, a thing that looked like an illegal uh, brass knucks he had. With a bathroom really not selling any of that. As a, as uh, it's a, like a car wreck in this <laughs> ring. It it's chaos. It's absolutely gone ballistic so far. Absolutely crazy here. Nice uh, way to start off the... Uh, First night of a uh, Raw NSW. Yeah. Some complete chaos. <laughs> exactly. Ladders in the ring, bodies all over the place. This is what we just like to see. Ryback now set the ladder up. Uh, trying to climb. Bethwick coming over the other side. What? This can only mean trouble for one of them. What is going to happen here? Oh no, Bethwick changes round. Oh, nice. Off the ladder. Not going to be nice if you're Ryback though. Limbo now working on Luke Hopper. Nice shot to the face. And again, bodies all over the place here. Giant Limbo trying to climb the ladder. Nobody's noticed this. Maybe it's a bit too late. Hey. And he's got it! And Limbo definitely showed some knowledge in that match to keep an eye out for when people weren't looking and got up there in just a nick of time. But Matt, what does this mean now? We've seen what happened before with J Jen Michaels and Yuri Watson. And now with Giant Limbo with the case, Trey Donovan and uh, Corey Graves better watch out. Their tag team titles are in a lot of trouble. And will they be seeing the team of Yuri Watson and Giant Limbo, or will Giant Limbo actually find another tag team partner? Will? Well, you've got to see. We'll have to wait and see. You've got to see, him, man. After what Yuri Watson, after you peed Yuri Watson enough, I'm sure that is going to be uh, something coming up. And look at this. Yeah, it's Chris Jericho. He's going to take up. Take on Biggie Langston in a few short moments. And backstage with Paul Herman just going over a few things before the match. Be interested to see how Jericho can do against Biggie Langston. I'm sure the uh, matchmakers will be looking at this as a possible ranking match to see who might be maybe next in line to go after our world champ. Yeah, indeed. So we know Cesaro is ready for his match a little bit later on. This is going to be uh, very interesting indeed. As we move on, and hold on, Daniel Cage. Well, this, what the hell is going on here, Matt? Who is took, taking out Daniel Cage? Yeah, like I said, they needed to stay together or at least watch their back. And he must have went to a dark air, area of the arena, and why family must have got to him. Well, coming up next, it is the battle um, of uh, sorry, Michigan's is Detroit versus. Battle Creek, and here's Battle Creek Zone, Rob Van Dam. Interesting to see if RVD can get back on track after season one. He seemed to kind of just wing in the back and not really make a splash in NSW. Season two will be a whole new start for him, hopefully. Well, what has happened to Daniel Cage? Just quickly going back to that, man. We can only guess who took out Daniel Cage, but if I was to guess, Mr. Wyatt? I would have to say, I mean, with the history those two have been having and just the unpredictability of the Wyatts and the way they want to just eliminate everybody that they're in contention with. 
Well, RVD ready for action here, Matt. Uh, he's going to take on a newcomer in uh, Ryan Fox. It'll be interesting to see what this newcomer Ryan Fox will do. Yeah, indeed. Well, here we go. Ryan Fox coming, as we say, from back Detroit, Michigan. Another newcomer for season two. Uh, should be uh, very interesting to see how this guy gets on. Yeah, a little Michigan rivalry between the two. Battle Creek and Detroit. Well, Ryan Fox, a lot has been talked about this guy during the off-season as well. Can he live up to the hype as much as Carlos can? Yeah, I think there's been a lot of pressure put on to Ryan Fox here to make a big splash so hopefully he can do it against RVD and what a win it would be to get a match a, a win over RVD and remember people coming from or straight onto Raw from getting signed a, lo a lot of more pressure on them Mike you would see as they haven't went through NXT yeah I mean that they must really have shown something that push them into the spotlight to be able to become a superstar and not have to go through the trials of NXT. So, be interesting to see what he can bring to the table tonight. Well, we will see in action. It is RVD versus Ryan Fox. That is your next matchup. And as you see, in Michigan, really, Battle of the Michigans here. Yeah. Uh, Detroit and Battle Creek, as we said before, Matt, so very interesting matchup for these two really from the off offset here. Um, again, it'd be very interesting to see how Ryan gets on here against someone as capable of RVD as we know what he can do. Uh, we've seen what he can do in the past, but as I said, you've said in the intros that not a very good season one for RVD. No, I kind of just hung around the back and really didn't have any standout matches and didn't make any good pushes to any kind of title terrain, so... See if he can get back on track, but he's fighting this newcomer with a lot of potential, so we'll have to see how it goes. No, VD, as you see, showing off some of his signature moves there. Really, as this Ryan Fox come to a bit of the un unknown, it'd be very interesting. But even, even if RVD can pick up a win here, even if it's against a newcomer, it's still, as you see, it'll still show Jan and Michaels um, that he's here to really to go in season two. Yeah, I think every match tonight is a good precursor to what people want to bring to tonight and see if they can actually pick up the first win of the season and keep going. And look at that nice splash by Ryan Fox. Could that be enough to put RVD down? No, two and a half. So close. Close. Yeah, very close indeed. Oh, and look at that nice suplex into the pin. And he got him. He, could ha he got him. <laughs> You have to say that Very that, impressive. that is unbelievable. What a move from Ryan Fox. Picks up the win and, well, moves on with, to bigger and brighter things. You have to say, Matt. Yeah, it's definitely got to raise the ire of the, the board to definitely put him in line for at least a Europe, uh, United States Championship shot, if not a world champion. It'd be very interesting to see how this guy goes on. Very impressive debut from um, Ryan Fox. I'm sure, as you see, in coming weeks, we will see how he does against other competition, but if that's to go by, that I have to say that's going to be one of my favorite uh, moves. That was a beautiful suplex um, into the, the pin combination. And yeah, nice little package roll up there. And RVD really didn't know what to expect and couldn't get out, so be interesting to see how he does. So uh, Ryan Fox is your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Four continues on. Seems like he's even hashtagging right whoa, whoa, now. Whoa, 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 wait, whoa. <laughs> and Carlos, out of nowhere. Wait. That's a way to make a name for yourself. What the hell is that all about? Well, ladies and gentlemen, just as we, we, Carlos is just taking it off deep, just to remind you of the show's coming up in NSW. Raw, as you, obviously tonight, we have main event on a Wednesday, SmackDown on a Thursday, and NXT on a Saturday. Coming up next up, Chris Jericho versus Biggie Langston, two of the mainstays from Season 1. Matt, this should be a very good, interesting singles contest. Yeah, like I said, this could possibly be 
uh, look at uh, who could be number one contender for the champion of tonight's matchup. Well, indeed, I'm sure the, whoever, the, both these guys are going to have um, eyes on the main event, which is coming up after this. Um, as you say, Matt, Chris Jericho, former World Heavyweight Champion himself here on NSW, with Paul Heyman at his side, you just don't know what to expect. Yeah, Paul Heyman's definitely going to be a factor out there. Biggie Lynx is going to have to contend with. I mean, you know he's going to be out there at least trying to cause some kind of controversy or at least distract the ref here and there. Yeah, and Chris Jericho makes his way to the ring, remember? And I'm sure, we, as you see, we've seen already tonight the other half of the, the Heyman faction, we can call them Ryback in action. Uh, but now Chris Jericho... And Heyman really will want to get at least one win under his belt before the end of Raw, uh, this first Raw comes to an end. Yeah, I think Jericho's the man that can get that done, done for him, so we'll have to see. And I really think Jericho is probably the one to watch in this match. Well, you've got to see, I'm sure Biggie Langston's going to be able to prove a lot of things uh, for the NSW universe. Many people predicting big things from him in season two as a Jericho ready for this one and here is Biggie Langston and I've got to say Matt crowd really warming to this guy yeah they seem to kind of like what Biggie Langston did last season hopefully he can get a good push this year and get on to bigger and brighter things he was a uh, but a United States champion last year, and hopefully this year he can win the big one and be world champion. And you've got to say, very young, despite his young age, man, you've got to say he looks he looked pretty awesome at times in season one. If he can just continue that on in season two, he has, as you see yourself, he could indeed go for the big one. Yeah, as long as he keeps his focus and just keeps pushing forward and looking for the next big and brighter thing to make that uh, next step to the top. Would you say, Matt, that even maybe he should look to even get a manager or something like that to help him? Or do you think this guy has got enough talent to go by himself? Uh, it all depends. I mean, if he can get a good, get the win out here, he'll definitely be in a good shot to be for going for a champion. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry about that. That's all right. We understand. People, it's terrible sickness going around with We've heard around the NSW universe, so we can. We, it's going to hit all of us at one time. Um, but as you were saying, uh, Matt, uh, Biggie Langston, do you think really some, even someone like Paul Heyman, Matt, could do something for him? Uh, I don't know. Uh, he might want to try and stay on his own for a little while just to see how he can test out the waters. I, I think a manager is only needed when you really need a better push than what you're getting. So. He's doing pretty good on his own right now. We'll see how that does for him. And look at this Langston using the power there. Just shot to the head. Ground and pound style. And anyone, even Biggie Langston, can do a Russian leg sweep. As we, I've been waiting all night to do that. I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, and a nice back. Langston in control here, Matt. Um, early on. He's taking right to Chris Jericho. Not letting him get any kind of an advantage. And... Definitely showing his power and quickness. Look at this. Oh, just dropping <laughs> Jericho across the ropes. Biggie Langston looking very impressive here tonight. Yeah. Like I said, if he can get the win tonight, I could definitely see him being pushed into a championship shot, hopefully. Oh, and look at this. Heyman coming into play. Langston had at least a six or seven count there. Uh, but look at this. Looking for the big ending. He's calling for it. And he yeah. hits it in the middle of the ring. Referee distracted though by Paul Heyman. And well, Langston, that is just a bit of bad luck, really. He had it he had, he had definitely Jericho beaten there. Yeah, it's the advantage of having Paul Heyman out there though. I have to this. watch out for him at all times. And look at this, the NSW universe, Carlos trending worldwide after what he done uh, did that attack on RVD. What do you expect about that, Matt? Uh, I think there might be a little bit of rivalry starting to grow there between Carlos and RVD, so we'll have to see how that plays out in the next couple of weeks. Look at this, Langston trying to get back in control here, into the, the tie-up. Langston coming out there with the power. Got to see it. 
He's got to try and stay on him. Nice shoulder barge, barge into the corner, Matt. And Jericho finding it a little bit, a little bit trouble here. Yeah, it seems like Biggie Langston is just taking it right to Jericho, not letting Jericho get out of the blocks and get his, his uh, momentum started at least. So. And look at that! It an looked another six or seven count. Poor uh, Biggie Langston has not had the luck here tonight. Paul Heyman doing his job for his client here, and. Uh, You've got to say, look at this, Jericho out of nowhere, looking for the walls of Jericho. Referee distracted still with Paul Heyman. Jericho has it locked in. Referee turned around just in time, too. Yeah, Langston has to get to the ropes. I think he can might just get there. And he does. Yeah, he's close enough. Yeah, Jericho has to break the hold. And let, look at this. Oh, out of nowhere, the code breaker. Oh, my goodness. That is surely the end of it. End of the cover. No hook of the leg. Gets the three. And really, Matt, you have to say that is Jericho stole one. Yeah, well, I'd have to give more, much of that credit to Paul Heyman distracting the ref and giving Jericho the opportunity to hit the walls of Jericho and then hit the uh, code breaker at the end there. Well, that is crazy. Well, Matt, you've seen he's helped you on plenty of occasions. If that's going to be the case, the referees have got to stop paying attention to Paul Heyman. Poor Big E there. He had that match won twice. Yeah, well, that's what the manager can bring to help you out and make you a better wrestler and get you that victory that you so have to move on to possibly being a champion. Uh, I don't, I, well, honestly, I don't agree with that. That's terrible. I'm sure they need to sort something out there. Biggie Langston had this match won twice, and Paul Heyman really has cost him there. But Jericho picks up the win, and Heyman indeed does get at least one win from the first draw. Your winner... Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Jericho. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next here, you see him, the challenger, Daniel Bryan. He is going to, he is ready to take on the world heavyweight champion, Matt. This man, Antonio Cesaro. Yeah, I heard uh, Daniel Bryan and Antonio Cesaro were let know, or were told about this match was going to be the main event for the first Raw right after WrestleMania. So they've had all the offseason to kind of prepare for this matchup and get ready for each other. So we'll yep. have to see that this may be a blow-up match. And be really great for NSW. It is, and this is, as you remember, Matt, as you've just said, a rematch from WrestleMania where Cesaro took the title from Daniel Bryan. Many seeing one of the best matches we had in season one. It was definitely a classic. They definitely were able to highlight a lot of good moves and definitely put on a great show for everybody that night. Well, Cesaro proudly wears the title. And well, will, he be, will it be the shortest train ever though, Matt? You've got to say, you can't count Daniel Bryan out. We, Remember, he shocked us all by entering NSW in the Elimination Chamber. So really, as you say, this match, though, should be very, very uh, a technical matchup in, between two very good technical wrestlers. Yep, and it'll definitely be a way to find out whether Antonio Cesaro got a fluke win over him or if it was for real. Well, listen to the crowd, Matt. They are behind Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan, though, just seems a little bit off put it put off sorry by it yeah he seems to kind of not really want the fans behind him he kind of wants to do it all on his own and yeah. I don't know maybe, something kind of changed him over the season maybe losing the title has done this maybe he's now more focused and not really wanting to play to the crowd and just want to go out there and get the job done could be possibly what he does to become a champion tonight yeah Brian, he, he looks a little bit off, put off by it. Really, he has to really concentrate. Cesaro has really got what he wants, and that is the title. <laughs> and the crowd, you've got to see him, I love this. Yeah, they're really taken to him, but hopefully, it looks like he's got his focus on winning this match and not on playing to the crowd. And ju just. Going back, Matt, what a night we've had. Just a quick recap as before we start the match. We've got a new GM, we've got some new talent, and we also know we know who the number one contenders are for, for the tag team titles. Well, at least we know one person in that matchup is going to be uh, Giant Limbo, but who's going to be his tag team partner? 
Are you Could it be Yuri Watson or? It has to be Yuri Watson, surely. But uh, as I say, anyone, even Tony Cesaro, can do a Russian leg sweep. I love that. That's my surely going to be my new thing for season two. Uh, nice kick, though, Cesaro. Look at this, Cesaro, the rubbing Daniel Bryan head into the mat. And, mat. <laughs> and you've got to say, uh, looks like Cesaro's just coming out all uh, guns blazing while Bryan's been a little bit put off by what the crowd really were chanting before. Yeah, a little bit of aggression from our champion here, showing that he really wants to hold on to that title. Look at this, kicks it by Cesaro. Remember, this is your main event, ladies and gentlemen, of Raw. Your next offering from NSW is main event this Wednesday after UFC on Nonstop Sport. So make sure you can join us for that. As a Cesaro dropping the knee, Brian not even got out of the, the gates here, Matt. No, he hasn't even been able to start any kind of uh, momentum on his side. and he's Now it's just starting to kind of work Antonio Cesaro. And, well, Brian now trying to get some um, advantage going here. Throwing Cesaro into the corner. What is he going to do? Look at this. Tangles him up. Oh, my goodness. Throws him over his head. You've got to say, Matt, for the size of these two men, the strength for them is unbelievable. Yeah, the technical skills between these two is definitely unmatched between a lot of different competitors here in NSW. So this is definitely going to be a technical back and forth. Really good match, I'm pretty sure. And you've also got to remember... What is SmackDown going to bring you? Surely the rivalry between the, between the two brands. If, after seeing this tonight, SmackDown's got a lot to live up to. Yeah, well, we'll have to see who the GM of Raw is going to be. and Or actually, the Raw, the SmackDown GM. And we'll see if, what they can bring to NSW and see if maybe they can outdo Raw. Who knows? And look at this. Oh, the kick to the head! Cesaro in a lot of trouble. Have we got a new champion straight away into the cover? There's one, two, kicking out at two. Cesaro, nice arm drag by Brian. Brian in control. Just as I say that, though, Cesaro hits with a nice uh, reversal and a nice back suplex. You've got to see it, Matt. Cesaro nearly in danger of losing the title there. Yeah, Dana Bryan starting to find a little weaknesses here, but yeah, Cesaro coming back. Again, a close end now, Cesaro, though. Oh, look at that, just a stiff headbutt. Taking Brian down, and then there's just the stamp. And you've got to see both these guys, Matt, coming up very aggressive tonight. Yeah, Antonio with a nice throw there. Both men showing their technical prayers, prayers here. As uh, Cesaro into the cover, hooks the leg. Is that enough to put Brian away? It is! Wow! Antonio Matt. Cesaro showing that he really is the champion of NSW and ready to lead Raw to greater heights. Indeed. Antonio Cesaro, your winner in the main event, ladies and gentlemen. You have to say, showing what he is going to bring to the table for season two. Be careful, raw roster. Cesaro win with the gold, and I think it's going to take a lot to take it off him, Matt. Yeah, it's going to have to take probably someone big and powerful to maybe outmatch his uh, technical skills and be able to put an end to the reign of Cesaro. Cesaro. Yeah, well, maybe the crowd got on, behalf of, on the back of Daniel Bryan. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Non-stop wrestling Raw is over for episode one. What a great night it's been. Thank you very much for everyone who watched us on Twitch. If you're watching us on YouTube, give us a, obviously a like and tell us how you think of the show. Also, try and catch us on Twitch when we do the live shows as well. Uh, for myself, Dave Easton and Matt, Matt, say goodbye to the fans. Night, fans. And that is it. Season 2 is off to a great start. We see you on Wednesday for main event. <laughs>